Hello, 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 my good students. Welcome back to our Pacific campaign as Imperial Japanese Navy on War on the Sea, where we are steaming towards Iwo Jima after the Allies launched a surprise attack in our back lines. Did the old switcheroo after we took Del Monte in the previous video, but they switched that out for Iwo Jima. So we have quite the hefty invasion force. Uh, landed on there uh, very very recently it looks like the enemy are retreating from there so we're going to go up and send what was our invasion support task force over here with Issei, Fuso and Taiyo and they're going to try and combat and scout out and defend uh, our back lines now I think that's going to be their job um, for the foreseeable future uh, with two battleships in here and a carrier escort as well as uh, at least one heavy cruiser uh, we have Takao and a Mogami so we do have two which is very very nice indeed should be able to take on um, any foreseeable threats with uh, the intentions of further invasions there so that should be fairly nice we do of course have Sodu out as well so we're going to be looking at forming the Kido Batai but once we've stabilized <laughs> once again <laughs> So maybe quite uh, down, um, quite a way down the line still, but we've made all of the steps um, for that now, and we're actually going to be looking at using our income, which should be payday today. Actually, uh, once uh, midday hits, we should be getting paid 74 command points, and that should be excellent. Let's go to the strategic map and stop babbling on over here and actually get things done, shall we? So uh, you can see uh, we are still quite a way away from Iwo Jima. It's going to take 41 hours to sit right on top of there, but we've not got anything to actually counteract um, the uh, invasion here. So we are going to lose that. That's a fact. We are going to lose that. So it's looking like I might want to send some um, supplies from the engineering task force over here to do, deal with that or come up with, I think, um, this invasion supply force in tandem with our supply interceptors here which will be carrying uh, more um, supplies and troops on there we can see they do have quite a hefty um, invasion task force here I would say mm, that's probably around the two to three thousand troops mark here um, so I think really one drop off from the invasion supply force here and a good reinforcing uh, drop off from the supply interceptors should be able to retake Iwo Jima, especially since they've bombarded it to the ground and we have no bases there to help their defensive uh, bonuses there. So it should be okay for that, but that's going to uh, rinse Kude dry uh, pretty much because we're only going to get one and a half thousand troops. Um, to deal with that and we're going to need basically all of them I think so it's going to be a tad difficult we might still have to wait around for a second resupply there because I do still want to push on to Cebu over here and then of course to Manila if possible uh, we can of course see this bloody submarine once again so what we're going to do is launch some planes from I think uh, Kaga should be free over here we're going to launch I think eight zeros from here and they can try and uh, strafe that down and once they get close we're going to launch some Emily's from here I think with depth charges to make sure that finally goes down so that's really the plan for today um, stabilize over here probably buy a couple Congos I think um, for the supply interceptors over where are they over here like so it might even wants to attach Sodu to them uh, like so where is Sodu? Uh, it's quite likely over here let's actually call that uh, Sodu now just to make that uh, stand out a little better uh, we'll keep these um, submarines patrolling around Okinawa nowhere overly in particular but something to catch out anything in the open sea there and we'll keep those Glens and Jakes flying about so there. We can remove this. We know uh, where the enemy are, roughly. And really, that's all we can do at the moment. So let's get going and see if we can hit this sub and scout out any further enemies around Iwo Jima. Okay, so we have sighted that uh, enemy submarine once again. It is that uh, US one. We're going to tell, I think, everything just to attack that straight away, really. We are going to have to keep our speed fairly high though because that is diving down uh, so let's go straight in like that and these Emily's are going to have to go straight in as well I think 
uh, before we lose sight of that. We're hoping for the zeros, of course, but it's just... There you go, already downed. So uh, good thing we do have some depth charges about. So we're going to increase our speed with these Emilys. Yeah, it's gone down now, so... That's a bit of a shame, really. We do have depth charges. We're just going to have to hope uh, we drop these in the correct position now. No way we can detect that, unfortunately. I'm going to slow down our speed here. I should try and do this a little more manually and just guess a little more accurately, I think, there. Uh, I'm just going to get the uh, position right there. We have got everyone in command there. So, what we'll do is try and lead us a tad and drop about here. So this is the last known position where the target is here. I'm sure it's moved on from that. Guessing uh, explosions. Have they hit though is the question. Let's take a report and they have not hit. <laughs> of course they haven't. But I think I saw the submarine was fairly close. It weren't too far off the mark there. Just caused a very quick glimpse of its uh, silhouette there against the explosions. But so either way it's not a hit and that's an unsuccessful strike there. Rather, rather unlucky indeed. Once again, that's going to carry on and persist there until we <laughs> keep sight of that once again, I think. So we're going to move around Fighting Force 1. We are probably expecting uh, that North Carolina task force from the previous video uh, to appear at some point. So we're going to keep our CVs over here a tad closer, I think. And uh, just make them patrol a tad like that. Do have uh, Akagi out here with Hiryu as well, and that's going to help uh, the invasion um, fleets over here. I was thinking about actually bringing up this Fighting Force 2 to help out in our back lines, but I think that would be uh, sparing far too many ships uh, into one area there. I do want to keep these out. How are we looking for supplies on truck? I think we can uh, afford to send these to resupply very quickly because we are very very low on HE ammunition on our heavy crews. In fact Mogami having zero there. I would like to keep that up really uh, because we are intercepting a lot of uh, enemy supply ships here. There's a bit of a way to use AP on them as well. So I think once again we'll keep going and fingers crossed, there's nothing too horrible out here once again. Uh, we did of course see another um, battleship group coming out here. So I might want to move these submarines actually to deal with that perhaps. We shall see. Just put some subs on either side of Manila. We should be catching things there. Let's keep going. Okay, so after some time has passed, uh, we have sighted uh, that North Carolina group I was just uh, alluding towards, um, just north of our Akagi task force. So what we're going to do um, is we've launched um, 31 Kates from Hiryu and Akagi, launched uh, with um, 800 kilogram armor-piercing bombs, and we are going to form up as such, increase our altitude fairly high, um, and really just focus that right down. We're going to come from the back, like so, increase our speed, and we can slow that down as we get closer, of course, and reform to uh, make sure we do hit that a little better um, as we get closer there. Just uh, forming these up into two large groups so far, just again for the sake of easy control. And the reason we're coming from the back is because uh, Sun Tzu himself <laughs> has that famous saying, strike from the back, easy clap, strike from the front, stupid run. <laughs> so we're going to compress time here and come in. They have sighted us because uh, we're right on top of them, despite the visibility being 40% uh, total there. You can see this is certainly the uh, ship we've hit previously, so just a few bomb hits should do this really. But it's uh, still trying to get those bombs on target, isn't it? That's going to be the problem there. As ever. Yeah. Especially from this altitude here. But now that we're so high in the sky, they shouldn't be able to see us so easily. We're taking the cloud cover there. 
and that is really having trouble maneuvering. Look at that, it's going at 10 knot speed, the massive list. One torpedo, probably, well, extra, would have downed that, I think. So we did get very unlucky there, striking the well, all of our torpedoes onto its bulge. Um, but yeah, not to worry, we're back now for more. And really, it's not the most uh, threatening force otherwise. If the St. Louis um, was swapped out to be a heavy cruiser, um, that really would be a different story uh, because that would have, once again have some major bombard power between two heavy cruisers. So we just want to get rid of the battleship here and then this should be a fairly easy uh, strike uh, later on. So what we're going to do is, I think, tell this group to break and then attack once again. Uh, we're going to, I think, just slow down a tad first, like so. I'm going to slow down a tad with this group, make sure everyone does that. I don't think that's uh, applied to everyone in that previous group. And we're going to break here and attack like so once again. Alrighty, shall we take a report on that North Carolina? It's critical to heavy. That might go down. It's sort of up in the air at the moment, really. Uh, we're getting two. I think well, our cakes are out of range now. So there's no need to form those up once again. Um, I think we're going to take one, though, and keep that so it does keep sight around that North Carolina for us. You can see the amount of bomb um, it's <laughs> bombs that's been hit by there fairly large amount there so really surprised that doesn't go down but uh, um, this game does seem to wait flooding over general damage um, when it comes to sinking ships which is rather unlucky there and that won't likely send it back uh, to port straight so I'm sure they'll try and keep um, advancing unfortunately So the reason we brought in bombs, though, was that, uh, of course, you can see we've only lost three Kates from this attack. And while it's still up in the air about whether that's actually going to sink or not, um, the point there is that we have preserved more Kates than, we'd have, uh, than we would have if uh, we took torpedoes on them. Just rushing straight in there, uh, we would have lost a hell of a lot of Kates just for the one ship there. Um, however... Now that we've done this, we can probably come in with some torpedo armed cakes. And we can see that um, the North Carolina has, of course, struggled to keep up with the formation there. So we just need to be a bit patient uh, with any further torpedo armed cakes and wait for that to uh, leave the formation again and therefore leave the range of the enemy's small arms. Uh, but with that St. Louis about, um, there's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of flak coming out our way. A uh, lot, a lot of flak. You can see the secondaries there and all the small arms mounts. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but I don't think this is going down, unfortunately. So we may just retreat there and try and hit that again. Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to sight that North Carolina um, a second time, unluckily. Um, our scouts just not placed right in uh, the correct position there, unfortunately. Lack of um, control from myself, of course. But um, our supply deceptors are waiting at Kure to decide whether we want to arm up any supplies and such at the moment. And I don't think that's particularly a great idea at the moment without our um, main invasion supply task force here. You can see the Americans have actually taken... 
um, Iwo Jima now for themselves and that has her tower income a small amount gone down to 73 from 74 not the hugest loss there really is it but we do need to take that back um, can't allow such an affront on our home territory there our own sovereign territory to uh, go unanswered there so what I'm thinking at the moment is like I've said I would like to get some Congos out for the supply interceptors here um, but I would also like to, um, if that's going to be the case, modernize the um, destroyers over here a tad, I'm thinking, uh, just to help out with their firepower a little bit. Um, what I would like to do with that, though, um, hmm, I think I'd like to at least help remove one of them maybe in favor of perhaps a at least just a Hatsuharu um, to help out with that. Uh, I would like a Fubuki ideally or an Akatsuki perhaps. Uh, but that might be a little too expensive there. What we'll do first is of course get a Congo out first I think. Let's go for Kure, new seat and we'll go to Congo. Where the bloody hell are they? Here we go. So they're 55 points. Can only get the one out at the moment. But we'll go for it, like so, and that can merge positions over here. And that's great. So we have 30 points remaining. Uh, we should be able to get a couple destroyers out from that. I'm actually going to send all of these back, I think. This, I believe, um, let's go to tactical very quickly and double check what the Wackabert was. Where are we? So the Wakabo is in fact a Hatsuharu and that is brilliant so we don't need to send that one back. So send Kamikaze, Minikaze and Matsukaze back to uh, rest and repair like so. And we'll get, um, how long is that going to take? About four days? Three days we'll get uh, reimbursed for last investment and that is excellent. We can use that to just towards something else later on. So we are going to get out a few more destroyers here. Go to Kure, of course, new C, and we'll go for DDs. Just narrow that down a tad. When do we get Akizukis? Uh, 11th of June, 42. So it's not the biggest weight there, but it is a weight nonetheless. Um, Asashio and Kagero is not particularly bad. We get one Asashio out, I think. Um, might get a another. Do I want to? Is it hats how I really want? Hmm. Quite liking the idea of a Kagero as well, actually. Not overly different from uh, the Sashios. I think we'll just get a few of those out, really. They're torpedoes that much better. They have the firepower. And uh, very, very nice indeed, I think. So let's go for that. Excellent. And we will merge those over here. Brilliant. Looking much better there. So, uh, once we have got our invasion supply task force over here, um, working with those, we can go over to Iwo Jima and reinforce that, I think. But we will send out, um, no, we'll, we'll keep these over here for now. Uh, we do have Soryu out and about scousing, so bring that a tag closer and that will help out there. So, let's carry on, see if we can find anything over there. Well, well, well. <laughs> you knew it would turn up here, didn't you? That's it. It must be that North Carolina task force just outside Guam looking to bombard it. Luckily, we do have uh, Kaga and Shokaku and Taiyo over here to deal with that. So we are going to launch this time um, some torpedo armed Kates over towards that. We do need to make sure we sink this finally. Um, so if we go like so, with the CVs and get that out from uh, Kaga or Shokaku as well. Um, certainly go for these cates here but can we get something decent out from Guam we can get six Don Rus and six Judies might be very useful indeed actually um, but they will be armed with bombs of course so mm, I'm thinking what we could do send these Don Rus perhaps towards a heavy cruiser along with some uh, Judy's as well. It looks like they're not overly interested in Guam itself, which is rather interesting. Got to waste a little bit of time there, that's not to worry. Just move the uh, Donruz out a tad as well to deal with that. 
What's this? This is a separate task force over here. Let's just quickly scout that out. What have we got? Just north of Saipan here. Can't see anything. There we go. What have we got? We have a South Dakota once again. <laughs> oh dear, is this something we previously sighted? It quite likely is. Uh, it does look familiar. So that must have been the one we scouted around towards uh, the Philippines. But it looks like it's... Uh, okay. It looks like it's not too interested in coming out over here. But we'll mark it up anyway. But we do have to focus on this particular attack at the moment. So it's a wait from Guam, Tad, which is now. And we'll launch out some Judies with some uh, 800 kilograms once again. And we'll bring in the Kates a tad closer as well. Uh, they can come from the rear there. I uh, might just bring the Dornus and such out a little further away so we're not right on top of them when we do come into attack. And that should about get everyone in position there. So let's go in. So we have managed to get everyone into this battle here. We're going to give them a little bit of time, I think, to see what they want to do with their formation here so that we can let this North Carolina separate itself from the formation. Uh, what we're going to do is identify the St. Louis and County because they're going to be the extra targets. And I do just want those to uh, be a little more visual for me there. We have, of course, already sunk a St. Louis, sunk the Helena, which is excellent. So this is the second and final one remaining. And we're going to go to heavy cruisers here. We've got a county. Brilliant. So I think the Donroos and the Judies uh, might want to try and get them on to the St. Louis to begin with. Because I don't think the bombs are going to be quite enough to uh, deal with the uh, with the North Carolina here. We are going to have to send a few torpedoes to deal with that. I think just a group of four or five to deal with that. But we'll let, of course, like I said, we'll let that uh, leave its main formation there. And we'll bring the Cates to the flank. Like so. We could subdivide those into smaller attack groups uh, later on. So let's compress some time here. See what happens with that uh, formation. Yeah, I'll just bring the Judies up around here. Just keep them circling. Like so. Just reduce their speed a tad. Zeros are coming off of the map. That's fine. They're not getting shot down. Keep the Donruz about over here. So it's looking like you might want to attack with those Kates really from the port side of that uh, North Carolina. Where are we? Get some flooding on this side, I think, just to overwhelm it. So, mm, see, I don't know where that, uh, well, that group is actually um, circling towards, really. I do want that to leave the North Cow alone, to be honest. I think we'll skip ahead to when we can actually attack. Okay, so we are now finally deciding to attack because that formation is not getting any better. They're just circling around the North Carolina there. So we're going to tell these Judies to try and attack the St. Louis over here um, as we come in with some Kates from the flank of it. And we're going to try and get these group of uh, five Kates over here towards the... Um, North Carolina here as these cakes come over to hit the county. We are going to dive down now and actually try and hit that. We're going to try and get the Donruss onto St. Louis as well, I think. Um, but we're going to try and be a little more hesitant about that. We'll see how that like, goes. Slow down their speed there. And what we'll do is, I think, divide these cakes up once again just to um, uh, these cakes over here can, I think, form into these two groups as shown here. Um, I think just uh, you are just uh, being a bit strange there. We're going to come from two slightly separate directions there, increase our speed with that group and decrease a tad here so they can stay in behind there and just come from the county's uh, rear. We're going to take uh, this large group of cakes and subdivide these once again as well. Uh, nothing overly fancy there. And I think that will pretty much 
do at the moment. Subdivise a tad more. We have a hell of a lot of cakes over here, don't we? Should be enough to go for the St. Louis fairly easily. Like so. Go straight in over here. Thank you. And we come from its uh, uh, flank over here. Right, so just make sure we're at an attacking altitude there to make things a tad easier. Like so, excellent. Lots of Judy, not to worry. How's the attack going there though? We have dropped, but uh, unluckily no hits there. Very, very unlucky that. Uh, just make sure we're coming in okay for this North Carolina here. I think we're doing okay there. I'll just make sure it's a tad more no, it should be a case of attack there. Let's tell that to attack now. Don Rios can, I think, um, I think help us out really. We do need that to uh, go down. So let's tell them to attack from here. And we'll make sure all of these Kates really are going for that St. Louis. I think we'll come from round here with this group. Um, like so. We'll have to slow down with this group over here. Just a tad and over here as well and make sure that it's targeted and come in I think like so here and this group's gonna have to do the same not targeting it let's go like that county is evading as well so that's gonna be a tough ask there unfortunately gonna have to change our position yet again let's speed up so a lot, a lot of ships. They have been actively manoeuvring from these stars over there, over here, haven't they? Very, very difficult ask indeed to get to the ships that we really want down here. But I think we're looking okay here. So actually going to reduce the speed here, turn out a tab more here, get to this group I think to attack from here on the county. And like so, just turn back in here because it is focusing this group by the looks of it. Make sure that's facing before we tell that to attack. Hits the, uh, yes, getting a good few hits on there onto both the St. Louis and the North Carolina here, which has been stuck. Really, really horrible for that there. <laughs> Excellent. Couple more hits on that is brilliant. How about the county there? Getting a small cross drop on that. Lovely couple torpedoes should hit that very, very nicely indeed. Oh, that's a brilliant sight. Really, really brilliant sight there. Just need two more torpedoes, and I think that should be okay to go down. Oh, camera flipping. Snapping out a tad there. Very, very nice indeed. Look at that. <laughs> so many torpedoes being hit there. Number one is sinking, that's great. How's the St. Louis looking? Not too bad if that doesn't go down at the moment, that can't hurt our base. And with the county, I assume, yep, that is sinking now. Absolutely brilliant there, very, very nice strike indeed. We have lost a lot of cakes, you see. And that's why I wanted really the formation to spread out, to be honest. But uh, it's done exactly the right thing and gone very, very central and just circled the North Carolina with a constant manoeuvring there. It's been very, very difficult to get a decent attack off uh, with a few losses. But we've got the two ships we came here for. Got the county of the North Carolina. So Guam and Saipan are safe from being bombarded yet again uh, by an immediate threat. This torpedo over here on the map has range. I doubt it will, but the uh, St. Louis is under threat there if it does have the range. And no, it has run out there, which is rather unlucky. So let's take a report onto that St. Louis. Uh, moderate to moderate, not likely going to go down, but a lovely eight command points for that sinkage. Very, very handy indeed. That will go a long way to helping a future task force, I think. That'll be a good destroyer for a future task force. So, did lose, of course, mostly Kate's there, and that is rather, rather unlucky. I'm going to let this fire burn down, and we shall retreat.
Oh, wow, that was a horrible defense there. We're down to one Judy there. Uh, let's see the Kates, 12 from the Shokak. Because we only lost, I think, one from that particular group. I think we uh, launched 13 or so from there. May well be wrong. Um, these Kates over here from Okaga. I didn't lose loads and loads there. But it's uh, more than I'd like, of course. <laughs> and lost a couple Donruss. Very, very nice indeed. So, with that being done... Uh, we are going to still pull back uh, Fighting Force 1 a tad, and we're going to keep, of course, scousing up with these CVs here. Um, so, with this, I think we're going to, of course, launch some more scouts over here. We do have um, all of our zeros available from Unio, so we're going to start launching scouts to uh, scout the open water here. Uh, so we can finally move in and hit whatever is out here. Going to try and get the most out of this as possible tell them to go out like that to begin with and use their return to cover some ground as well I'm going to send them out of course in different directions but at different distances as well I think is the best thing there uh, let's go back again it's going to take a little bit of time but I think it's important to see uh, the thought process here uh, don't mind spending so many zeros at the moment. Don't forget we do have Sodio about as well to provide air support if need be. Just I think a couple more should do the job. Send one else I think in this direction because we do still have that uh, South Dakota to think about don't we. Let's go a little bit further out like that I think and keep some zeros in reserve in case we need them for emergency uh, combat air patrol I think we'll send one to actually circle the group I know we could send one at a true radial um, command using this but I'd rather just keep that manual keep that on the flank like so there I'd like to have a bit more control over the units there so, let's see if we can catch anything. Okay, so um, about a day or so has passed since I last spoke to you, and uh, we have been sinking so many supply ships, so, so many. Um, <laughs> I think we're definitely going to be parking our supply interceptor group um, in this particular area over here to patrol, because um, we've seen three, I think, um, groups over here in one day. We did, of course, sink um, a group down here outside of Peleliu and catch one outside of Formosa as well. Uh, which has pushed us to just over halfway of our goal of 300 sinkages, finally. But um, picked up something over here. Now this says there's two ships, um, one CV and one um, merchant ship. This is quite likely just a um, supply convoy here. We're going to go in with six Bessies here with torpedoes um, just to double check. Um, I imagine it's just some supply ships here. But you never know. You never know. Let's go in. If it is, thank God. <laughs> it does appear to be the case there. Looks like we have a uh, Netherlands 
ore carrier and I believe a Harris over here which is excellent. So we're going to try and hit both of these of course. So let's go down, increase our speed for now and reduce that as we get closer of course. Do the same with these Bessies as well. Let's go straight in over here for this particular ship. No need to waste a round of waste time, let's compress some time. Try and lead out over here. And I think we'll have to reduce our speed to a torpedo friendly speed here. Just under 100 AC uh, knots there will do the trick. It will turn in a tad with these. Um, these Bessies, I think actually we'll get them to line ahead just to make sure all of the torpedoes are more likely to hit. Um, and we can do that a bit better there. We will reduce this one's speed here. Come in like this. And try and mangly drop them. Because uh, going at a Vic or line abreast, uh, the ships here are just a little. Uh, not quite long enough to take all of the torpedoes if we go um, abreast at all. So if we manage to get all of these off, we should be okay here. I think we'll turn in a tad and drop here. Might be a little late there for the torpedoes to activate. Might have, yeah, I think that's only going to take the two there. Came in too close. That's something we're going to learn there, I think. Not to worry. Two hits there. Same results if we went to uh, abreast, I think, to be honest. So we can turn around with this group. I think we'll increase our speed to come in a little quicker there. Turn around once again. Come in. And just come a little more perpendicular there. If possible, it is turning away. I'm going to increase our speed a tad again there. This one does have some flat cannons on it. I think that will look okay for some lead there. So we shall drop about here. And pull up of course and increase our speed. That's looking better isn't it? There we go. Did we only drop with one there? That is ridiculous. That is an all drop button. <laughs> Oh well, okay, um, well these two can form up then. And they can come back down and try again. <laughs> Why is an all drop button and not all of them are going to drop? That is ridiculous. That is very, very funny indeed. <laughs> Oh dearie dear. Oh dearie 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 dear. Silly sausage. Very very silly sausage here. So we're going to actually uh, make sure we're controlling both of these. Got them both selected here. And then hit the all drop button. Uh, I think that's probably uh, the bad word order. There should be drop all if that's going to be the case. Rather than all drop. Because drop all would suggest uh, all ordnance from one plane. All drop suggests uh, all planes drop their ordnance really to me. That's just my understanding. But we're going to uh, all drop here. And there we go. It's looking better, isn't it? And so we have lost to Bessie there. Is it going to crash in? It is. Oh, that could help out a lot. That's going to help out a bit. And there we go. Two more hits on that particular ship. I don't think uh, this one's going to go down from those two hits, unfortunately. But this one certainly will. Accidental kamikaze attack, and there we go, it's going down. So, lovely stuff, at least we know that's not a carrier now. Um, so, they can return back to base, brilliant. Um, so what we've done here is uh, we've decided to get our supply interceptors while we're waiting for this group to catch up. We are going to reinforce uh, Okinawa once again, and that's because of the engineering task force down here to upgrade that to a level two airfield when possible. And we're going to need a few more um, supplies for that uh, so it's going to take two trips to do so but we're going to unload some supplies and troops here to help out with that that mean uh, we can burn down that uh, enemy force that much quicker much easier and it'll make up for a supply loss uh, later on when we do come in for um, uh, an upgrade there so that is excellent stuff and that will make it back in time to meet up um, with this group over here but having said that 
Um, I think we do want to waste a few more days there once again to get resupplies. We do have more troops to combat the Iwo Jima task force there. This minor resupply is going to come back down, I think, and help us at Peleliu um, because that is looking the worst for engineering and fuel at the moment. So I do want to keep our Mavis's and Bessie's over there uh, operational, I think. Um, otherwise, I'd say perhaps Guam or Saipan once again, but we're looking okay there. And trucks so far is looking okay for fuel and such at the moment. So that's the plan for the moment. And I think we'll try and get in one more engagement. And uh, otherwise, I think this might be dragging on a bit, but it's not been overly active for my liking. Uh, there's been a lot of strategizing on the map. It's not the most fun watch, if you ask me. So let's try and get one more thing in, shall we? Okay, so scouting outside Iwo Jima has finally paid off. We have found what I would say is finally a significant task force. Uh, what do we have? The number six is, of course, a destroyer over here. So the central is a battleship. And it's a Colorado. Okay, interesting there. Very, very interesting indeed. Hmm. That does bring some uh, weight to it. Those are, I believe, 410 millimeter guns. Let's just double check that. If we go to SBB here, Colorado. It's three in class, 406s. Right, okay, I thought they were particularly bigger than everything else. So they're certainly bigger and the other standard class battleships guns they are quite the threat indeed hmm interesting interesting uh what cruisers do we have that's in new orleans over here and that is a perth over here so it really is the colorado that's the main threat there how many uh, new orleans do we have we've seen a hell of a lot of them about uh if we go over here we have Mm, one, two, three, four left. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Well, we're going to retreat from that. And I'm afraid, guys, we aren't going to leave it there. You can see that's very, very close to Iwo Jima there. We're going to certainly mark that up as battleship. And I think that will be uh, the goal for the next video. Um, I would have loved to have got Okinawa up to a level uh, two airfield today but it's not going to happen we are going to have to uh, spend uh, that little bit extra time to uh, source out our supplies there unfortunately but not to worry have been going for quite some time that first episode will be dragging on a hell of a lot uh, i wouldn't believe i've been recording for nearly two hours now <laughs> so need a break i'm afraid thank you very much for watching though i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's uh, filled your needs for war on the sea today um, <laughs> it certainly has done mine so uh, i shall see you in the next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Edify Gamer, and I hope all of your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.